Crafters, and welcome to Creative Moments by G. We're so happy that you're joining us today. We will be working with Stampin' Up's Wildcat stamp set and the dies that go with it. We are going to be making a tent card. Look at this pretty card. I'm going to show you how we put this together. So let's head down to the crafting table and let's get started. Here's the stamp set we'll be using. Look at this Wildcats. It is so much fun. And of course we have the dies over on the side. And we will also be using this beautiful embossing folder. Macrame is what it's called. Do you remember macrame? I used to do macrame all the time when I was younger. We had so much fun with that. So let's go ahead and show you the card that we're going to put together today. This card is cut four and a fourth by eight and a half and scored at four and a fourth. And remember, all the measurements will be listed over on our blog, so you don't have to worry about taking those down right now. Just have some fun watching us put this together. You're also going to need a couple mats, and we decided to get this Mary Merlot because we felt it went so nicely with the paper that we're going to use. So we have a couple mats here that we'll be using to put together. So on the top part of our card, let's go ahead and get this Mary Merlot put down with some adhesive. And stay with us because we have another card that we want to show you also. So there'll be a three cards that you'll be able to to make on your own. Now on this one, we are going to go ahead and run this through the machine and emboss it using that macrame embossing folder. So let's get that lined up. Let's take this out and see what it looks like. Oh my goodness, is that not beautiful? So pretty. So we're going to go ahead and lay this down right on top with some adhesive. And because this is a 3D embossing folder, make sure you really get your adhesive down into those crevices. Now we're going to stamp our sentiment just on a plain piece of crushed curry. And we're going to lay it right down here. So let's go ahead and do that. And we are going to use this stamp set. We love this stamp set. We're going to put thanks really big and put friend right on it. So let's go ahead and use our Mary Merlot for our big thank you. And you don't want it too dark. And now we are going to step this up on some dimensionals. And now we are ready to make the tent part of our card. So we're going to go ahead and glue this down. And now we're going to put this to the side and we are going to stamp our foliage that we're going to use for the tent part of our card. So we have we have to stamp our tiger, and we also have to stamp our green leaves. So let's go ahead and get that stamped. And we're going to use two different colors. And now we are going to stamp our tiger. We're going to stamp our tiger in our crushed curry and we're going to bring in his stripes now use our memento and we're going to bring in his face now on his face what I did is I put just a little mark right at the top of his face because it's kind of hard to tell where his face starts so just put a little marker right there and that way you'll always know which is the top part of this particular stamp and it works every time so we're going to go ahead and cut these out and i'll be right back 
Okay, we have our plants. We also use the die set to cut out these little bitty plants. They don't have a stamp, but they cut out so pretty. And we are going to add this to the top of our card. So we want to come down two inches on this part of the card so that it fits in a regular envelope. And so I have marked this two inches and I'm just going to put a little mark right here that I can take off later, just so I know where to put the glue. Okay, we're just going to put it down here, right at the top mark. Make sure it's centered. Now I'm going to bring in my eraser and just erase those little marks. And this way I know it will fit exactly in the envelope. So let's go about getting this all set up on the top part of our card. Now we want to set these all up on dimensionals. So we're going to put our tiger about right here. So let's get him set up on dimensionals. Now we're going to bring in our plants. And the trick on the plant is this top leaf is going over his body, so you want to make sure don't put any dimensionals on that. Just put your dimensionals on this side so that it will lay flat against his body. We'll bring in this one a little bit lower, maybe put it right on the top. Right there. And remember, once again, this is going to go on the leaf part of this plant, so do not put any dimensionals right here. Now, if you wanted to put some glue on this, you could, but I don't really see the need for that. And we may not need this third plant that we cut out. We'll save it for next time. But we do want to go ahead and put these little guys right here. And we will set them up on many dimensionals. We cut one out of our beautiful Mary Merlot. Okay. And now we need to stamp the inside of our card. And we are going to use this plant. And because it says, thanks friend, we are going to use the stamp from the Wildcat. And it says, thanks, you're the beast. So we're going to use Mary Merlot for that one. And we're going to bring in just a couple leaves, just a couple plants for the bottom. Now because I don't want to stamp over this stamp, I just used the die to cut out one of the plants and I'm going to use it just as a cover and hold it right there as I stamp next to it. And see, it looks like it was stamped behind it. Okay, what do you think about this card? Isn't that Wildcat stamp set beautiful and so creative? Now, this is a tent card that's a landscape. But let's look at that one that I showed you earlier that is actually the portrait and actually sits so nicely on your table. Look at this. We stamp these beautiful plants that hang down from the topper, but then we also cut them out with the dies. We also use this one just to swing it across so that he's actually sitting on some branches. And then on the inside, once again, we cut out that beautiful arrangement and just had it coming down from the top. So we said, hello, friend. We added our plants on dimensionals here and used that wonderful DSP that you can purchase to go with this stamp set. Now we have another landscape card to show you that opens from the side. And this one is very similar to the one we did today, but we just did our plants a little bit different. We did our tiger in a different color and said, happy birthday, have a wild birthday. These are so fun, and what makes them so great to use is you can actually take this one, cut it off about halfway, 
and put people's names on here if you're having a party. Say you're having a safari party. You could use this stamp set, cut it off halfway, and these could be your name tints that you use at your table. So many possibilities with this stamp set. We think you're going to love it. Well, thank you for sharing your time with us today. We so appreciate that. So please go ahead, take a moment to subscribe, share, and like this video. We hope you go out, be kind to yourself and others, and be creative in your crafting. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.